hello my friends and welcome in this video i'm going to publish some of the videos on my online course how to create android apps with ionic framework and monetize with google admob okay so i just wanted you to have access to some of the content i'm also going to leave a link in the description if you check down you're going to see a link and a coupon code that you can use to um, register and get the course for less than ten dollars okay all right thank you so much and enjoy the video Alright, welcome back guys. Um, in this one, we are going to look at the next component and I really hope that you are able to like, like understand and follow through on what we are doing. Okay, I've tried like to make this thing easy for you and I really hope that it's actually easy and that you're able to follow through. Okay, so but if you for any reason you don't understand anything, you can reach out to me either on Udemy or on my Twitter handle Xenotrust. Okay, so let's look at the next component and that's the grid component. So this is what the grid component looks like. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to for this grid component, I've actually placed it inside an ion card. If you look very well, you see that we have ion card here. So basically all I need to do is just to copy it and let's reduce this and I'll just come up here. I'll add a comment and I'll just see what was this? This was the list menu, right? So list menu components and then let's add some space and then I'll paste in the grid components. So before we do anything, let me let me i'm going to save this so we can see the output on the page so i'll just go ahead and save it all right so look at what the grid looks like so it's just a way for you to have like a row and you know more than one component on a row so this is like a row with three columns okay and that's basically what a grid is so this is home about contact okay so let me let's then take a look at the grid so you see ion grid and this is where the home is okay inside of the grid we have a row and inside of that row we have ion columns okay so basically we can then edit so for example this router link on this first column which is this guy here you can just change it to home so it says page one so i'll just change it to home oh sorry that should be small letter home and for the second one it says about just come to page two here right see about here and then this is the router link and then i'll say about oh sorry i should actually do for contact because okay yes i have an about page so about and the last one says contact so I'll just say contact and guess what happens when I save. So let's save and take a look. All right. So this home page is already on the home page. So if you click on it, nothing is going to happen because it's already on the home page. But if I click on the about, guess what? It takes us to the about page. Let's come back. If I click on the contact, guess what? It takes us to the contact page. So this is another way for you to have like a menu, a grid, um, a grid like menu. So this is the list menu and this is the grid menu. Okay. So what if we had like six menu items? Okay. Basically we can just duplicate what we have here so that we have another row at the bottom. So if you look at this, this is the ion grid and inside of it, we have ion row, right? so let me so you see this is the beginning of the iron row opening tag and this is the iron row closing tag so what you can do is you can simply just copy the iron row copy it and you can just go to another line just after the closing tag of the first row but inside of the grid and then paste it one more time and save now let's see what happens So you see basically we now have six um six items here in two rows so three per row 
then you can go ahead and edit the second one and let it say whatever you want okay so this is home about contact this can be maybe something like blog or whatever i don't know any menu you want for your app and then you can go ahead and change the icon so let's just do one let me be the last one i'll just do the last one so this is contact the last contact so i'll change this to um learn more learn more and i'm going to change the icon so this is the icon name chat box and i'm going to change it to thumbs up because that's what i actually remember thumbs hyphen up okay but of course you know you can actually go to the ionic icon um, library and check whatever it is you want to use so let me just save this and let's see that it will change here okay so you see we have thumbs up and it says learn more so that's how you can edit so if i wanted to maybe make it go to a particular page all you need to do is just change the router link here to the name of that page it's that simple really but then let's get let's do one more thing so what if we wanted to add a line between these um rows here so let me just go to our components and i'll go to back to top and i'll look for my line so this is the line i'll click on it and yeah so you see so i can just copy this line and let's minimize this one more time and then between the rows i will just add the line so this is the end of the first row and this is the beginning of the second row so i'll just come here and between the two rows funny enough you can add a comment okay so i can just say something like horizontal line so remember the comment is not going to be displayed on the page so i can add a comment and then paste in whatever it is i want to you know and i can even add another comment at the end of the line so i would add the comments i'll say control and forward slash that's how you add comment and i'll say horizontal line and i can say something like end just to you know make it different so that i can easily know what is what okay so i'm going to save that and let's see what happens so here you see now that you have a line between the first row and the second row voila so that's how you can actually get to start playing around with the components in the toolkits i created for you all right thank you so much for watching this one see you in the next one